So last week my son and I, we were in Fukuoka city and we decided to pop into Hard Off in Shingu. Now this Hard Off has a lot of stuff, but it's not like the Hard Off where I live because everything here is overpriced, even if it's covered in crap. For example, take a look at this Super Famicom case. 6,460 no, 6, yen and it's got a Famicom, a Super Famicom attached to the back of it, overpriced. Look at that, 4,000 yen for a knackered Xbox 360, 7,560 yen, or is that 80 yen, for the yellowed Famicom, 5,400 for the old style Sega Saturn. Yep, I mean, everything in this place was way overpriced. Now, you may be watching this thinking, but that's cheap, but let me tell you, Compared to the hard off prices in the city where I live, these are well overpriced. Just look how much that SG-1000 is. As with most hard off stores, we've got a lot of unboxed games. As you can see, they've got a massive selection of N64 there with some Game Boy un underneath it. And here we got piled up a load of broken old junk consoles, which, yeah, as you've probably guessed, are overpriced. It's good to see that they've got some box Game Boy games there. Some box Game Boy Advance as well, and next to that, some GameCube. Got GameCube games? Some loose UMD discs as well. Mega Jack games too. Whale oh, Busters. Jesus Christ. Expensive. Yep, as you can see, I was not impressed with that price. Let's have some games there. Ah, oh, red. On the other side, games. So, we're going to take a look at the games on the other side. Now I must uh, explain that I'm filming this completely blind, I'm using the SpyCam app so I can't see anything that I'm filming, basically the phone looks like it's switched off and the sound is pretty muffled because uh, it's in its case and it kind of covers the microphone, not a very good design. So I do apologize for the wish washy sound. Did spot some uh, Nintendo Disk System games here. Some lovely joysticks as well, but yep, cost too much. See this Hori stick here? I picked one of these up myself in my local uh, hard off for 2,300 yen. Now in the glass case they've got a copy of Hagane for the uh, Super Famicom which I really did want to buy. But you know for the price that they want I'd expect the game to be absolutely mint. And it wasn't. It's actually got a sun faded cover. In the hunt there for the uh, Sega Saturn. Star?
and a couple of Nintendo DS's. Here we go with some more, more pricier Super Famicom games. Some nice titles in there, but again, boxes are faded on some of them. 10,000 yen for the used Wii U. It's too much. 9,720 for the PS2, PS3, sorry. Yet again, you know, too much. Now, what did surprise me is the games were not just there, they kept on going. Here we go with some PSP stuff. Oh, and a nice copy of Cyberbots down there for the Saturn. Now this did catch my eye, this was the uh, Virtual Fighter Anniversary Edition for the PlayStation 2, which I was going to pick up, it's meant to come with uh, the game and the, uh, a DVD, but this one was missing the DVD and since I already have the game there was no point in picking this up. I was hoping the DVD would have some like a uh, beta footage of the original game or something. As you can see, loads of PlayStation 2 games. Actually, there were some pretty good titles in there, such as uh, Gradius 5 and so on. See some PSP, uh, some PS Vita games there to the side, and also some Mega CD games, but nothing particularly interesting. And Xbox 360 is well provided for here as well. Even though it says PlayStation 2 on the sticker, it's actually the Xbox 360. And some more Mega CD games uh, next to them, some uh, PC Engine CD titles as well. Yeah, you can see the PSP Vita section down the bottom. Not a lot to choose from there. So yeah, none of these titles are extremely, you know, exciting. Well, Res is pretty good, but yeah. 4,000 yen? I don't think so. And what was very surprising is this hard off actually had some American import Dreamcast games. I've never seen that in a hard off before. So we've got the Japanese Mr. Driller there, and just a bit further up, we've got the American Mr. Driller. <laughs> Yeah, look, 3,000 yen for Soul Fighters? I don't think so. 5,000 odd for that? Oh man. So I got you there on the Sega Saturn. And here we come up to the DS stuff and Nintendo Wii. Nice Zelda controller there. Not much on the PC side, we've got some PC box games here. And of course, you gotta have Crisis. And since in Japan the PC is basically for porn games, there's a lot of those as well. So walking around the corner, we come to the junk game section. And this is where all the game discs could be scratched or the dirty and there's just bits of broken controllers all over the place. Yeah, and it's quite a sorry sight this section. But you know, if you dig deep enough, you might find some treasures. It's a nice Xbox 360 stick there. Lovely hi fi stuff as well. It's 
Sega Saturn and PlayStation there, more Dreamcast mixed in. Various power boxes, various video cables. Quite a few Game Boy players in there, joysticks, all sorts of junk. I mean, oh, there's a fake uh, Super Famicom pad there. You know, so if you're looking for some controllers or sets and accessories, whatever, you know, like, look there, you get, there's a PlayStation 2 remote control. Um, you know, there's loads of stuff you can find in these junk bins. Yep, yeah, such as this lovely mini transparent Dreamcast keyboard. Yep, Nintendo, that's why you're meant to put end labels on your games. Because all those Nintendo 64 and Super Famicom games all look the same. Now, I thought that might be the end of the games, but no, here's more. And to go in with the recent Battle of the Ports, there's Virtual Cop. Two boxes there for the Virtual Cop with the gun and without. Oh, sorry, the gun without the game, I should say, for the Sega Saturn. And a load of junk consoles, but even these are priced too high. Probably work though. Yeah, this thing had me puzzled. Some more PC stuff, I can see Gex up there. And look at this, a load of blank cassettes. I was hoping they'd have some metal cassettes, but they didn't have any. If they did, I would have bought them all up. And that could be the end of the game section. So since we're here, let's take a look at the hi-fi stuff. Loads of turntables there. None of them are of particular high quality, but you know. Some nice mini components there. Fortunately, the staff was hanging around this area, so it was a bit difficult to film, um, even though I was using the... Uh, spy cam app it kind of did look suspicious that i had the phone out of my hands you know walking around with it horizontally held this section brought a bit of a tear to my eye a load of laptops just uh throwing up here i mean they look really abused some desktops too Mm. Some of them still have windows installed, some of them are just completely wiped, and some of them have no hard drives. I suppose they could be useful for parts. Just noticed over there in the background there was a studio light. Oh man, I wish I, I, wish I noticed that, I would have picked it up. Wow. Here we go, various PCB boards uh, for PCs. Soundboards, motherboards, so on. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you now to um, see the end of this video as I rummage around and walk through the aisles before my battery finally runs out and I leave the store. So if you want to know where this particular hard off is, I'll leave a link, a Google Maps link in the description below so you can check it out if you're ever in the Fukuoka area.